Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. I've got a good one for you today. It's a Monaco Windsor, year 2000 model year. This is a 40 foot diesel pusher um, in really, really good shape. As you can see, um, these Monacos are built better than a lot of stuff you can go get today. Um, it's on a uh, Roadmaster chassis with a Cummins 350. It's an 8.3 liter Cummins um, in the rear. Um, that I don't need to say too much about those motors. Do your research, they're great motors. We have a diesel generator up front, 7,500 watt diesel generator. Uh, dual piece windshield here, um, a little bit cheaper to replace if you crack one of those, it's great. You got the big, uh, big easy visible mirrors, nice big, uh, tele or what's it called, the, like the fisheye lens on the bottom, nice ones up top. Um, let's just mosey around this thing and, and uh, I'll just keep talking to you. Um, your generator comes right out of the front there on a slide. It's a powered slide in here. I don't have that bay open. It's not much to look at. It's just a button and then you have electrical ends in there as well. Uh, 22 and a half inch commercial size Alcoa wheels here. So Bridgestone tires on there. That's what you want on a diesel pusher is that set up. Um, dual slide unit, both here on the driver's side. We have the big one up front and the bedroom slide in the rear. Um, coming along, we'll make it quick on the basements. Oh, let me point out, up top you do have a slide topper awning, which is great, keeps debris off, keeps your seals healthy a lot longer, um, can help you fight a little bit of that moisture. And then that actually will extend out, clip to this, and you'll actually get a bit of an awning over your windows too. So it'll work as a, a window awning for these and the window awnings on the side, or the windows on the side, pardon me. Um, the front one's just propane, uh, you take my word for it. <laughs> um, here is our pass-through storage, kind of dark, tough to see, but um, pass-through storage, full basement there. Um, and then you have the separated one with absolutely nothing in it that passes through just behind that. Um, in this bay, we just have access to water pumps and things like that, nothing too fun. And then here is our dump station, uh, and a little dusty in there, you need to clean it out. But you have hot and cold water there, use it as an outdoor shower, just something to clean yourself out with. Um, you do have a flush system in there, you can hook up and clean out your tanks when you're done using it, keep any smells to be gone. Um, you have storage lights here, you can access your water pump and turn it on from there. Um, and then you can uh, you can do your low point drain just at the uh, bottom part here when you're ready to winterize or empty the tanks makes it nice and easy and you even have a spot for storing your sewage tank right there next to where you use your sewage tank so um, thought out well again dualies in the rear as to be expected on a diesel pusher still 22 and a half inch um, below this slide where we have another slide topper awning that extends out as a window awning as well, uh, we have our side mounted radiator. So you have direct access to your motor from the rear. Uh, the side mounted radiator is going to cool it a little bit better as well. You're getting cleaner air. Um, but I can't say enough about having access to your motor from the back. Um, you know, I, oh, sorry, I didn't grab my barrel keys, but to, to be able to just change a belt like that, like it's a piece of cake is awesome. I apologize about the dirt. This thing came on a, a few hundred mile trip to get to me and I want to do the video. I haven't gotten a chance to clean it yet, but hopefully you can see past dirt. It's been rainy and stuff here. So we got dirt all on the back here. Um, you have a believe an 8,000 pound hitch here. Forgive me if I'm off, but I'm being conservative with that. I wouldn't say it's anything less than 8,000 pounds. If anything, it's more. Um, and you do have a seven pin hookup there for trailer brakes and things like that. Uh, full walk-on roof. It is a fiberglass roof on this rig, so um, kind of an indefinite lifespan on those things. And make sure your seals are good, but it's not like a rolled rubber membrane where it's going to fail after a decade and a half. You know, these things can be uh, be left up there as long as you're willing to take care of it. The fiberglass roofs live a long, long time. Um, again, I apologize. I didn't grab barrel keys, so I'm going to leave those a mystery for you in the back. On the driver's side, it's just more access to your storage bays. That one I just opened there is an aqua hot system. So it's a, a hydronic heating system, runs off diesel fire, or it can be electric. It goes both ways, but it'll give you heated floors, more or less endless hot water with these things too. They're, they're awesome systems. Um, they're great. It was a huge upgrade from the factory to have something like this. I don't know the dollar amount, but a big, big upgrade um, and, and a really nice feature to have on these coaches. Um, again, just more access. You can see it a little bit better from this side, but that big storage bay here, and again, we saw this from the far side, but the lighting's a little bit better from here. So big, huge, tall, wide, big, deep storage base. So really nice there. Here you have a fuel neck for your fuel tank. You have one on both sides. I believe this is a hundred gallon tank here on this thing. So it'll keep you going for a while. Um, and it's nice having that big diesel tank with a diesel generator and then a water heating system that can also run off diesel. You got a hundred gallons of it that you don't have to uh, be as sparing in how you use it. All right, let's head into this beauty. I'll go first. So 
So this is more or less how I got it. Again, I'm going to go through and do a little bit more cleaning, but you can see it was cared for well. Um, you know, the, the slide room is a, is a good size. It's well located. Um, and when it comes in, what's really nice is it doesn't obstruct your space that much. It really comes into about here and you still have a very workable space, but we'll move on to that. Let me, uh, let me show you a few things here at the dash. Um, just to my left here, we have the, the control board for your HWH leveling system. Um, so you just do that right there. Um, above that, we have heated mirrors. We have that step cover. So when you're coming in, no one's hanging their feet over the, the stairwell. Allison 3000 transmission here. That's a six-speed Allison. Um, that's your selector box here for it. You have the smart wheel. Monaco like to use these, and they're really nice. You don't take your hands off the wheel for much. You got you know, high beams, uh, windshield wipers, cruise control. Um, and everything's really just right here that you're going to need to access minus your, your transmission, which is located here. Um, dash is fairly simple, but, but you know, not dated or anything like that. You can set your idle higher. You can do, run engine diagnostics from here. You can do an auxiliary start, which jumps your chassis with your house batteries and vice versa. Um, and then just as far as gauges go, speedometer, tachometer, um, radiator, temperature, oil pressure, fuel, uh, voltometer, transmission temp, which is very, very helpful, turbo boost, which is just fun to look at if you're asking me, um, and then your uh, air brakes, your air pressure uh, readout there. Um, fairly simple dash. AC unit should look familiar to you. I think these are out of a Ford. Um, and then uh, CD player here. These head units can easily be updated if you wanted something a little bit more current. Um, you do have a CB radio as well. It can be very handy if you're in uh, low cellular range areas and our backup camera is right there. You do have the defroster frames up front and you have this nice privacy curtain that will close all this off so you uh, are not losing this space when you're camping in it and uh, at a park. Both of these chairs do swivel around so you uh, just extend your living room. You're not losing it to cabin space. Um, I always have to point it out, it's a Monaco built in a, in a great era for motorhomes. So if you look around at the quality of materials, you see it's all solid wood, very well constructed, um, good hinge work. All your hardware in here is just, if anything, it can, compared to current day stuff, I would say it's overkill, but this is how they did it. That's why there's still so many of these on the road is they just built them so darn well with great materials. Um, obviously older TV to 2000, not a problem. If you need a TV that can be updated. Um, sun visors here, but yeah, uh, moving back into the living room here, what's nice, you have this kind of, uh, you know, it, it looks like a little nook, but this guy will fold out into a table and where that's really nice is because you keep in mind your uh, passenger seat is going to spin around and then you have a recliner here. You can kind of have a card table, a place to just turn around, maybe take your eyes off the road for a little bit and face another direction. Uh, but just really works as like a very usable nook, you know. Um, if, if, you know, you have more than four people, you could have two people dine here and four people dine there. But just gives you options. Uh, a little bit of storage in there as well. Uh, Monaco always did a good job storage along here. They never put it in a way where you're going to be bumping your head on it. Um, but out of the way, storage is always good. Here we have a scissor bed, so this will unfold to make into another sleeper for you. Um, your table here, if I can do it without am I much of a fool, does leaf out. And I have a couple of folding chairs in the back that match these chairs, so you can seat four here more comfortably. In the kitchen, you have uh, quite a bit of extra counter space in here. Um, it's a solid surface counter, which is great, especially when you're cooking on it. These can't swell. It's a solid surface. Um, I can't say enough about that. I, I'm sick of looking at MDF for counters. Um, here we have a double din stainless steel sink with wand. A three burner propane stove here. Up above it, we have a microwave convection oven with the hood fan and light down below it. Um, and then just lots of good storage in here. And again, the, the quality of construction on these, I can't say enough. That I, I wish they were still making coaches the way they made these coaches, but sadly they are not. Um, I mentioned it from the outside, but I feel like it's important enough to mention again, you have heated floors in this rig with that aqua hot system. So being out here in your toesies with no shoes on in the morning, you're gonna have warm feet. It's a really nice thing. Um, once you have it, you never really want to go without. Um, again, good, good storage all the way around here. Um, four door fridge by Norcold. It is a two way fridge, so propane and electric. And then it looks to be about eight cubic feet. You have an ice maker in the top left. Um, coming back into your bathroom and commode area, uh, we have a very good sized shower. Let me demonstrate for you. 
Uh, I'm about 6'3 with my boots on. Get my arms up, get them out, turn around, plenty of room in here. I give it an A. Um, you have this little vanity outside of here, which can be nice, separated from the commode, so two people can be using the bathroom without being in each other's way. Nice little medicine cabinet up above. Plug-ins here, and just makes for a nice little vanity, getting ready or, or doing whatever you need to do, shaving in the morning, all that good stuff. Um, come out, plenty of room for your knees. Nice tall porcelain toilet, step flush, what you should have, skylight with a fan in it. And a little bit of storage above the above the commode there. In these bays here, you actually set up for if you wanted to do a stackable washer dryer, you could. You can also go with a single unit just below and leave this open or leave it just as is and use it for storage. But you have the option, it is pre-plumbed for a washer and dryer in there. Coming back into your bedroom. This is another thing I thought Monaco did an excellent job on. Um, if you uh, obviously you have a nice big walk around that that's the first thing you notice you can walk around both sides with plenty of room up here um, great storage around the bed and across from the bed here but what i was saying is what you can point out you can actually see in the carpet the indent from where the bed comes in even when this bed's in you still have a walk around bed now i can't say that for most rigs normally when the bed comes in it butts up to something you can't access your closet this one is very it's uh Ergonomic is the best way I'd put it. You can use this entirety of this rig when the slides are in, which to me is a huge benefit. When you're going down the road, if you lose access to stuff, you're losing value in that motorhome to, to me. You know, I, I think one of the biggest things in motorhomes is that comfort during travel. And if you're not utilizing that, I don't know that you're using them correctly. So this one really, really does a good job of that. Um, as I continue to move back, you see we have this nice big closet with the hang up pole. There are those uh, folding chairs over on this side that I mentioned to you. For your dining room, they even have a little inlet so they're not gonna move around. Um, you have power outlets to both sides of this bed. It's zoned heating, so you have your own thermostat on the by the bed. There's another one up front, but you, can, you have zoned heating in here. You can have it however you'd like. Um, again, power outlets, storage on both sides. Great deep storage. I don't know if you can get an idea, but that's almost three feet deep in storage there for these shelves. And then up here, really nice big, kind of tucks away there into the corner. You can kind of hide some stuff if, uh, if you need to have some, some things you don't want everybody seeing. And then again, just, just all the good storage in here. Can't say enough about this woodwork. I believe this is a walnut, um, but looks really nice. I mean, 23 years old and it, it doesn't look much different. You know, the woodwork does than, than the day it left the factory, I think. so. Um, it, it really tells the test of time and, and, and passes that test. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Again, um, I'll just kind of re-go over it in case I did forget something. It's a 2000 Monaco Windsor, a 40 foot model, Cummins 350. It's an 8.3 liter Cummins in the back. Allison six speed transmission, um, 3000, Allison 3000 six speed on a Roadmaster chassis. Um, single owner rig, very odd that that happens, but it was a single owner rig um, with an aqua hot system, which is that diesel fire, heated floors, ton of good features in this thing. Uh, but if there's anything I left out, just, just shoot me a message, give me a call. I'm happy to answer any questions I might have forgotten about. But thank you guys for checking out the video and hopefully I'll see you next time.